Okay, if I've been a, a good putter throughout my career, it's also my ability to uh, uh, have the right speed. Um, certainly, I've not necessarily made more putts than others, I feel, uh, certainly not more two or ten footers than others, but for sure I've taken less time three putts than uh, my co-competitors. So that's given me overall, uh, over four rounds of golf, a certain advantage. So I have a little uh, methodology, that uh, exercise that I use to really uh, uh, help my uh, stroke, uh, my body to uh, to uh, control the different distances and also of course uh, giving me extra feedback on the speed of the green any day, any place. Uh, here I go with three balls all aligned and I will take my normal posture. I go choose a flat spot on this putting green here at Saint Cloud Golf Club uh, in Paris and uh, I uh, I take my normal stance and without looking I don't go for any particular uh, target, not, not to towards an, uh, a hole and I just go three times repetitive my good rhythm with my backstroke going more or less uh, opposite my right toe without looking. Meanwhile I tell you this exercise is excellent for feeling the proper rhythm uh, giving you a lot of feeling for your own stroke rhythm and repetitivity and also stability. See my, I was not over curious to see the results. Sometimes amateurs are too curious and they, even before the, the putter had strikes the ball, they get out of posture and that's cause irregularity of course. So now I look, I look on and I, uh, I can see that of course uh, they are pretty uh, regular uh, since I do this exercise often and uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the, so I take the average uh, and I go, I plant a T here which is here uh, more or less right there and I do the exercise once again because you never know I could have felt that uh, it was flat but it wasn't truly flat or sometimes the grain of the grass uh, can uh, influence speed so just to be sure I go ahead and repeat this exercise the opposite way without looking enjoying my good rhythm and the same amplitude of backstroke and once again other than this last one I take uh, the average and now I can uh, T to T say okay my rest stroke reference my reference which is again the amplitude of the backstroke opposite the right toe gives me more or less one two three four five six six big steps or seven yards or six meters and therefore I have uh, something that uh, a po point of reference you see that now I go to the golf course on to my first game and the uh, first green I have for instance five meters okay one big step less so now obviously I know that all I got to do is take a little bit less amplitude backstroke than my reference one and it works uh, darling it works marvelously well okay so you see the the speed is good now I imagine I know more or less six meters is my reference here, therefore I know I'm one more meter away, so I've got to take it past, slightly past my right toe, like so. Wasn't the best strike ever, but it'll get there still. So it allows me to really get a good feel for uh, the standard uh, speed of those greens and obviously a good efficiency in uh, getting the right speed and ensuring most of the time two putts.